Howdy there, guys. What's up? Hope everything is going fantastic for you today. Um, now, if you were here these past two weeks, you noticed that I didn't make any videos. I was out of town, and also I was sick, so I apologize for the lack of videos. Um, but three weeks ago, we were working on the sniper scope tutorial, where I showed you guys how to um, make one of the images I made um, using photo or not using Photoshop, but using Final Cut and how to edit it using that. Um, but today, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to actually create that image that I made in Photoshop using Photoshop. So ain't that fun. Um, if you don't have Photoshop, you can always get the 30 day free trial, or you can get it on, you know, illegally online, but, you know, that's, it's not good. So anyways, um, once you launch up Photoshop, come up to File, hit Brand New, or just New. If you said Brand New, that'd be kind of cooler, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> anyways. Um, for the width and the height, um, more or less you want to input whatever value that your actual video is. Shooting in HD, 1920 by 1080, it's going to work just fine. Um, however, if you're going to be like an extra cool kid, um, you can double all those value, um, double all of those values, so it's 3840 by 1 to 160. Um, same aspect ratio, just a um, no um, little bit higher quality, so now um, no matter what you do to this image, um, it's more or less always going to stay crystal clear. So, to me that's pretty vital, so if you want to do that, you can. And if you look here at the canvas, you know, it's still the 16 by 9. Um, everything is looking handy dandy. So the first thing we're going to do is unlock the background layer just by clicking the lock button. Now if we double click um, double click the new layer, the layer 0, I'll bring up this layer styles window. And un under the, under the, co uh, the color overlay <laughs> window, um, click that. And then for the color, just change it to a solid black. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to set up our different tools. Um, so, what we're going to do is first select the eraser tool, hit, hit by hitting the E key, or it's right there, um, and just bring up the, um, the diameter, or the master diameter size to about 1871, if you're working in the, um, the 2 times HD, and, and just so you guys know, to get this window, all I have to do is right click on the mouse button, and then bring up the hardness to 95%, um, I recommend doing 95% no matter what the canvas size is, so just about right there, so more or less it's going to look like that. Next we want to set up is a brush tool, so hit the B tool, or the B button on your keyboard, and bring it down to a pretty small size, like something about 20, and um, leave the hardness at just about 100%. Um, so now here comes the really hard part, it's um, more or less lining this up so it looks just about right on your, on your canvas, so if we go like that, that looks alright for tutorial purposes. Now without moving your mouse even, um, even an inch, hit the B tool, um, to bring up the brush, and just click right down there in the middle of your circle. Um, that will make us a little dot, as we can see right there. And this little dot is kind of going to act as a reference point for um, the rest of building the um, sniper scope so that we know exactly where the center of this image is. Alright, so now we've got all of this done. Um, there's some, there's a, um, a second step they don't really have to do, but if you want to do it, um, I encourage you to do it. And it's to get that little sort of like a white rim around the, um, the, end of the, snow, um, the end of the scope to kind of give that sort of like a glare, sort of reflective look. So um, what we want to do is create a brand new layer. So just by hitting this button right down here, it's going to create a brand new layer. There it is. I'm going to hit the B tool to bring up the brush tool. And let's go straight back to that same size of a brush that we had earlier. So the 1871. Um, and bring the hardness probably to about 98%. So it doesn't really matter for the hardness. Um, let's see. Just about... All right there. looks all right. So I'm just going to click it. Boom. This is on the second or the brand new layer. And we have something just about the same size as the original um, eraser marking. That's exactly what we wanted. So um, now double click the layer 1, and that's going to bring you over to the layer styles window again. Um, and we, what we want to do is select the, um, not inner shadow, but the inner glow option right down here. Make sure that's checked. Now change the color to a little bit off of a white. Um, for, for the um, blend mode, just put it for normal um, for right now. Bring up the opacity quite a bit. And um, for the size, I recommend bringing it up to like a probably about a 230 or 220, um, and leave the choke more or less exactly where it is. I want to mess with that too much. So now we got that um, pretty well set up. Um, hit the E button again to bring up the eraser tool once more time, and let's bring down the size quite a bit. So something kind of like that, maybe maybe a little bit bigger than that. That's gonna look pretty good. Um, for the hardness, about 95% is going to work just fine, and then just boom, click it right there in the middle. Um, and what we're really kind of going for right now is to get a good texture. Um, I actually don't like that texture, I'm going to undo that. 
come back here to the um or history tool here it is just bring it back to about right there I'm gonna bring down the eraser size even a little bit further it's about right there click it in the middle there we go I'm, I'm digging that for um, a texture so now I'm going to select the layer one option again and where it says inner glow come back over here and now we can start playing around with some of the settings to kind of like refine our refine what we're looking for we're gonna bring up the choke a little bit or bring it down um, see what's looking good something kind of like that um, I like that we can maybe bring up the opacity bring it down hmm something like that looks pretty good you kind of want to get sort of like a rusty feel so just about like that I like that um, if we hit the V key we can bring up again the um, kind of selection tool and holding the shift button in one of these corners we can drag the size of this image and then we can line it up perfectly over our circle just like so now, most of this image will be erased in a couple moments, so don't worry about how it looks right now. Um, if you want to, we can double click the layer style, or first we have to apply this. Apply, there we go. Now if we double click layer 1, um, we can come over here to the defaults and just sort of bring down the opacity to kind of get an idea of where this image is um, in relationship to the rest of the actual image. So I'm actually going to bring this up in size a little bit further. So, about like right there, so... That's looking pretty good. Um, now we want to, you know, apply this and then hit the E key once again to bring up the eraser tool. If we right click, let's bring down the hardness almost all the way, um, and also let's bring down the eraser size a little bit too. And now what we're going to do is just more or less go around the edge of it and um, erase what we don't want. So I'm bringing down this a little bit further, and now we just work on our way and um, erase. Ah, I don't want that part. Let's see, something kind of like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. This is looking pretty good. <laughs> this is probably the most time consuming part of the tutorial as well, um, just so you guys know. Let's get some of the inner part right in there. Let's get some of that out of there. Um, along the top, maybe some more. There we go. Something like that's looking pretty good, I think. Um, it doesn't really have to be anything specific, but I think for tutorial purposes, you guys kind of get the gist of how to do this. Um, again, you know, play around with some of these different settings, and you know, maybe you can find a brand new method that um, you know no one else has discovered. So that'd be kind of cool if you learn how to do that. But anyways, I like this right now. You know, it's gonna work. Um, and what we're gonna do now is start to um, build our actual sniper scope. Um, really quickly, I want to apply this. It's already applied. Fantastic. Um, and now, selecting these two layers, um, just hit one layer, and then hitting the command key, select the other one, right-click these, and then hit Merge Layers down at the bottom. And this is going to more, um, more or less take all these um, these two different images and push them into one, so that it's just one little layer, which I think is really awesome. Okay, so now that was all the hard part. Here comes more or less the easy part. Um, what we want to do is select one of these um, rectangle tools right under here and just make a long rectangle, just like this. This is going to be the um, center of the sniper scope. Zoom it in, make sure that this is perfectly to the edge, like so. Um, make sure the other edge is perfectly to the edge, like so. Apply, and zoom this back on out. Now we want to align this in the middle of our sniper scope, which is exactly what that circle is for, you know, that we made earlier. So something kind of like, that's looking pretty good. I like that. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's good. Um, now I want to do is du um, duplicate this layer. So just right click with the mouse, hit duplicate. There we go. Um, now what I like to do is just kind of turn this around a full 90 degrees like so. Um, up here along the top, we can actually enter in the value for 90 degrees. So 90, and then it lines perfectly up 90 degrees around. Um, so that's awesome. Let's zoom back in, see how this is looking. Let's align this a little bit better. Something like that, so it's more in the circle. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now what we want to do is kind of add those like little sort of things on the very end by um, just creating a, another um, rectangle, making a little bigger one like that. Zooming in and seeing how this looks. It's a little too thick for my taste, so I'm going to bring this down in size a little bit 
And if we move this around a little bit, eventually we're, we're going to get this a little bit kind of a, of a pink bar you just saw. It. Um, and that bar is to tell us that this thing is aligned properly. So as we, as we can see, it's going from the very center of the square and through the middle of the other one, which is exactly what we want. That's awesome. So now let's apply this, zoom back out, see how this is looking. Looks pretty good. I think I'm, I'm going to bring this back a little bit further, along with a little bit thinner. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Apply. We can zoom back out. Um, I like that. It's pretty cool. So now what we want to do is just duplicate this layer one more time. Duplicate layer. Okay. Now we can, um, what I like to do is usually um, grab the little center, the uh, axis of rotation, and bring it out to the very middle. So right where the crosshairs meet in the center of the sniper scope, put them right in there. Then, just using the transformation options, swing it around to the other side. Um, again, punching in the value for 180. So 10 or 180. There we go. Now, if we zoom in quickly on the other side, we can kind of see if this is, this is being properly aligned or not. Um, let's move it really quickly. Move it a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's looking golden. I like that. All right, now what we want to do is create the same thing, but for the top and bottom. Um, if we are done um, playing with these, we can merge them, or we just double-click them both, you know, again, using the command key, then um, duplicate layers. Just like that, hit OK, and now we can see the axis of rotation is actually in the very center of the sniper scope. So hit the V key, and just bring this around, swing it, boom, just like that, and also, again, punch in the value for 90. And let's see how this is looking for both ends. It's not quite perfectly aligned, but for the bottom one, just a little bit. Boom. And if we quickly scroll over here to the very top one, there it is. Hit the V key. Bring it over. There it is. And um, if we can also see here, it's kind of going over a little bit in the white end. All we got to do is just bring this back down a little bit. See how that's looking. Zoom back out. That looks good. Um, ah, way too far zoomed in. And do the same thing on the uh, bottom one as well. Just bring that up. Something like that. That's going to look pretty good for tutorial purposes. Um, yeah, I like that. Now what we want to do is create the kind of the um, crosshair. It's going up and down and left to right. Um, again, to do that, just all you got to do is make a little, um, a little bit rectangle, just like so. There we have one. Um, and I'm going to kind of move this more towards the, um, actually I'm going to do this on the left hand side to start. Um, so over here, I'm going to rotate this around 90 degrees. 90, there we go. Make sure this is aligned in the very center. Um, again, if we um, play with this enough, it's going to be um, telling us that we're right in the very dead center. Um, by With that little pink bar, there it was again. Um, Thick, uh, for thickness, I kind of want to bring this down a little bit more. Something like that. Um, for height, uh, I like that height. So what I want to do is, again, apply this. Coming over here to the layer 3, the layer that we're currently on. Duplicate this layer. Hit OK. And then um, what we're going to do is kind of bring this down in half size. So just quickly take or grab it from the top. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. And just bring this down in size until um, the top of it, um, the top of the new one, gets um, to the top or the middle of the pink line. So just like so. So now if we were to zoom out a little bit, we can kind of see that this is exactly half the size of the original one. Um, again, we can kind of apply it or you know, align it with the very middle. Just like so. And also I recommend doing this, you know, just the same process one more time. Duplicate the layer, hit OK, and um, bring this down in half size. Bring down half size. There we go. Hit OK. Again, zoom out. And then we again apply this, putting it in the very middle, right there. There's no real science to this. It's just kind of you know what you guys think would look best. Um, so you know for different applications, it could you know vary from person to person. So about about right there looks good. All right. Now what we want to do is select these three layers. Um, one, two, and three. These layers that were just made. Um, all you know again, just using the command key, select them all, and hit um, duplicate layers. Hit OK. And now again, using the center axis of rotation, if we put this in the very dead center of the crosshairs, 
just like so, and do the full 180 rotation. Again, punching the value up here along the top, 180. And then boom, look at that. We don't have to do any more editing. All I have to do is turn it around and then boom. Um, again, we can also um, select these three layers again. So we have a total of six layers selected now. All of these, one, two, three, and one, two, three, these three. If we select them, come down and hit merge layers. Ah, wrong button. Merge layers. <laughs> Thank God for the undo button. Um, so now that all of these are select, um, um, put on one layer, which I think is pretty nice and handy. Um, and one more time, let's duplicate this layer, hit OK. The um, axis of rotation is already in the dead center. All I have to do is turn this 90 degrees, just like so. Again, punching in the value along the top, and there we have it. We zoom out and kind of see uh, the basics of the sniper scope. Um, if we want to add a little red dot in the center, we can do that just by um, using the brush tool. Bring down the brush tool in size. Coming over here, selecting a good red color. Something like that. Hit OK. And then if we hit in the very middle, we got kind of like a little of like a red dot in the middle. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can. If not, um, any further editing that you're going to be doing is going to be done using Final Cut. And now the final last step there is to do is to save this image as a .png. To do that, just come over here to File. Hit Save As. Then, um, find a destination. I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to save this as Sniper Scope. Um, now, at the format, down here at the bottom, come down here to the PNG option. Hit Save. Um, there's, already, there's already a file um, from a previous tutorial. And um, for the analyst, hit None. Say OK. Um, it might take a little while um, so that it can fully save, but that's just because um, all the different eraser markings at once to make sure that it's not missing anything and um, everything's being saved properly, so that's totally cool with me. There we go, it's saved, and if we preview it, it's right here. Boom, there's our image, and it looks golden. Um, remember, if you guys would like to see more of these, please subscribe, hit that little yellow button up there. I'm making these every Monday. Um, if you also want to stay more connected, you can check us out on Facebook. That link is down below in the description. Hit the like button, and um, you'll be updated every time I upload a new video to YouTube. Um, that was kind of a weird phrasing, but anyways, um, also check out the website medievalhollywood.zxq.net. That link is down below in the description. Um, check it out. Tell me what you guys think. Um, and I will see you guys in the future with another tutorial. Peace out.